Today I'm joined by William Sharman, Olympic 110 meter hurdler. William has a silver medal from the Delhi Commonwealth Games in 2010 and was fifth in the 2011 Athletics World Championships. Hi William, this must be a big year for you. Yes, yeah, a very important year. Uh, it's a unique opportunity having the Olympics in London on home territory and hopefully that should give its added advantages. So I'm really excited. Everyone's talking about the Olympic Games and it's making me feel quite excited about the whole thing myself. Excellent. And what's your Olympic goal? My Olympic goal is to win a gold medal in London. I've been in the <laughs> final at World Major Championships several times. I've just missed out on medals. There's no point going to a major championships again with the same aim. I've got to think about excelling and moving forward. And ultimately, you take part in a race because you want to win. The Olympic Games shouldn't be any different for me. My aim should be to go there and to win. Sure. The 110 metre hurdles is a solo event, but you have a team to support you as an athlete. Tell me a bit about them. Yeah, my team my team's very important and it, and it extends from my family members who see me on a daily basis, and my friends, my coach. These are the obvious members of the team. Um, but then I've got, a, I've got a wider supporting network as well, uh, Team BP, uh, JCCM Limited. They're my managers and they help me with all sorts of issues and any questions and queries I have, they're there to support me. And everyone can offer me something different. They can, they can help me emotionally, they can help me try and get the best out of my performance and they can give me access to things that perhaps I wouldn't have been aware of if I was just a solo, solo player. Your team obviously has got a lot of experience, having worked, I guess, with a number of athletes over the years. How important is that to you? It's invaluable. Um, when, you're, when you've worked with, it, with athletes over the years, you know how to handle them in different types of situations. I could be feeling very different at the Olympic Games to how I feel now. A situation or a scenario might arise, and I might not even know the best way to deal with it, but... If I've got a team around me who's been in that si similar situation several times before, it gives me the added confidence and security that I, that I need, knowing that everyone around me is very experienced. When you're, when you're trying to do something at the Olympic Games, it might be your only opportunity to do that. But if those around you have seen several Olympic cycles, it makes the world of difference. How important is it to get the right training and coaching regime as early as possible? My training regime has arguably been going since I first started sport. So seriously in athletics from the age of about 17, I didn't really know where it would end up or where it would take me. But I'm still doing the sport and everything back then in the younger years was towards my, my development and maturity as a senior athlete. Now we're in final stages. There's about 70 days to go until the Olympic Games. It really is about the fine-tuning now. You do need to be on the right kind of training regime, and that's where my coach comes into play. And he knows exactly what's best for me at what time by assessing me throughout the season. We'll do competitions, review the competitions, and depending on how the, what the outcome is, we alter the training, modify it, and move forward. It's constantly a work in progress because you can always improve. Sure. And uh, athletics really is your career. Is your work-life balance a challenge? The only, the only thing that I have to balance, really, is my family life. And that's quite normal. That's what most people have to do. They need to balance a, a career and their family simultaneously. So these, these things are just everyday, everyday issues that, um, that are quite commonplace. Excellent, William. Well, I wish you every success in um, London in August, and uh, we really hope we see you coming back with uh, medals galore in the Team GB. Thanks very, very much. Thank you.